our new dishes is our very popular broccoli. You see, we have the broccoli here. We got some, we, we always use all the stems. Perfect, perfect, perfect plate. I love that it's one of our most popular dishes because it looks so simple. It really looks like a plate of broccoli on the plate. But those are the types of dishes that get me the most excited because so much complexity and thought process actually goes into it, which makes it that popular and that addictive. So what we're gonna do, yeah, at the restaurant we do it on the flat top, which is a plancha, and planchas don't really exist at a lot of homes. So I'm gonna show you on like a cast iron pan here. Oh, this is a carbon steel pan, but either or cast iron or carbon steel would work very well. Putting this olive oil. These have been blanched and shocked quickly. Now blanched and shocking means boiling water, plunge into boiling water, about 30 seconds, and then shocked in ice cold water. Gets the green color that we want. We want to, we still want it like even before the point of al dente. Because when we grill it, when it chars, we still, we don't want it to be like super soft, okay? So now I'm gonna go in the pan. And try to like lay them out as flat as you can. I'm gonna add a little more oil. Oh, we're smoking, there we go. So we kind of lay them out flat because we want them to all achieve a nice a nice char to them and it really shouldn't take that long. Now this is an induction pan, so it's a, an induction cooker, sorry. So it's a little bit, a little bit trickier. But as you can see, it's starting right there. It's already starting to get char. And you just kind of play the set it and forget it moment for about a minute or two. Start to char and I'm gonna toss a little bit. And that's what we want, like right there. That's perfection. Okay, still gonna have nice texture. Moving around. It's almost like blackened, blackened broccoli. Which really gives a whole other element to the flavor. If we were just to do boil or blanch broccoli and toss with the vinaigrette, it'd still be delicious, but not as special as we all know it to be. So, I like where we're at, and I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Okay, this is it, now we put it all together. This is the famous roasted garlic and anchovy dressing, okay? People are like, anchovies, yeah, I don't know. Well, think about a Caesar dressing, okay? There's a little bit of anchovy in there and it gives you that umami flavor that makes Caesar salad so addictive. But the key technique is putting the anchovy in without you as the customer thinking that it's fishy. We don't like that, okay? So here it is. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. It's hot, so it's gonna really kind of melt in there. So I like the spoonful and a half. Moving around a little bit. I add a little bit of olive oil. I like a little bit more like extra virgin just to coat. A little bit of black pepper. A little, little tiny pinch of chili flake. I like a little heat. And now you just kind of move it around. You want it to coat it, okay? This is gonna take 30 seconds. I've been doing this for 10 years with this dish, so it's really easy, but I'm showing even without you making this like I have forever. Look how easy that is. It's already coated the way I want it. Now the finishing touches, because then it gets it's tight right now. Finishing touches is my best friend of the world, lemon juice. We love lemon juice, okay? We add a little bit of juice. The balance out, right? Our cooking at the Purple Pig is all about balancing acid and salt. We use acidity and lemon like you would salt. We don't want you to feel like, oh my god, I'm chewing on lemons literally in this dish because it's going to overpower it. We want it to enhance the flavor. But look now, look how emulsified. The lemon kind of helps it emulsify and lightens it up and it's coated perfectly. All right? It's awesome. Now, all you got to do is plate it. Also, the broccoli that we send to you that is pre-blanched and shocked will be seasoned already. So you do not have to add any salt to it, okay?
okay? You don't even have to worry about it. Just add a little bit of the pepper and the chili flakes. Okay, that looks good. And we have our just house toasted breadcrumbs, all right? Waste not, want not, all of our stale bread goes in the breadcrumbs. I love putting breadcrumbs finishing on dishes for texture and flavor. I love balancing out textures and having those different textural contrasts while you're eating, okay? So we have this, we just put the breadcrumb on top. That's to give you that little extra crunch to put the dish over the top. And voila, that is the broccoli.